everyone. So I keep on seeing this, uh, I keep on seeing a trailer for this movie. It's called A Quiet Place, and I believe I know what the creature is in it. It's obvious for some that know of it. I, uh, it was in a video talking about the syndrome when you, uh, eat people. Uh, it's a Wendigo. But it looks like it's from, uh, it's from Until Dawn kind of when they go because the wind to go is usually always known as like for the Eskimos out in art in the Arctic areas for Eskimos and such they uh they believe it to be a giant white furry man creature so it's a humanoid creature uh Native Americans also believe that by the way Eskimos are uh the Arctic version of Native Americans so, uh, yeah, I learn something every day. So anyway, besides all of that, uh, in the, like, where we are, in the hotter areas, a Wendigo is, uh, by the way, I believe that the Yeti was inspired by the Wendigo, oh, in the Arctic areas. So anyway, yeah, yeah. In the Northern Hemisphere, I'm just trying to sound smart, I don't know, if, like, I believe that's warm. Okay, yeah, yeah. So anyway, around in America, you know, like in where the Native Americans are from, there are many tribes that believe the Wendigo to be a creature that was very, uh, well, only had a little bit of hair on it, but they pretty much believed it to be a creature that was huge. Same with, like, uh, the Eskimos. They believed a lot of things, but the difference in our, uh, in America, you know, in the hotter areas is that the creature doesn't have hair it's tall and it's very agile it's uh it's pretty creepy and it looks humanoid also but that's not really a difference listen it's, just look up a picture of a wendigo and you'd see some interpretation of it interpretation sorry so uh yeah is a quiet place until dawn sequel Cool, but uh, in a movie? I don't know. <laughs> not not for all, though. Uh, Wendigo can also look like that, I guess. So, yeah, pretty much. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this kind of crappy video.